Hey everyone, the journey continues. Jenico's Journey, Las Vegas, Episode 2. This time we're heading to the Mandalay Bay. Would it be better than Luxor? Stay tuned to find out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see all of the journeys we've had in Vegas and beyond. Follow us on Jenico's Journey for an upcoming giveaway that's going live soon. Okay, stop one, the Luxor, there's the famous pyramid right there with the spear. I'm um, leaving there, but easy enough for going to the Mandalay Bay. And there's a uh, That's complimentary tram that takes us. Hotel number two on this Vegas trip. We are at Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay. What's going on? Here we are. Per usual, we will start with the restroom. Right when you come in, there is double doors that bring you right in here. Oh, hey, Michael. Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> what room? This nice little room here, huh? <laughs> so here we are. This is the restroom at our Mandalay Bay Hotel. Show you the shower amenities. Stop number two, right, Michael? Yeah. Stop number. So this, this bathroom obviously is much better, better than the bathroom we had the last spot. We were at the Luxor previous to this. Um, is, this is either gonna be a combined video or separate. So if it's a separate video, um, we'll link the Luxor review below. Uh, but much larger um, bath and shower. So. Lady showers and I bath and vice versa. I like the sound of that. His and her sinks. Let's show you the, see the toilet area. So we know you guys love that. Some extra TP. Pretty standard. Nothing special. This is what they have for amenities over here. We are just coming back from the pool. We're going to share some of that footage too. They do have a magnified mirror. To do your makeup on. Don't want to get too close to that. All right, so let's show them the room, Michael. What do we got? All right, so pretty decent, nice, spacious room. Uh, we did arrive here at 10:30, and um, I will recommend anybody who's coming to Vegas definitely get the players' cards right away. Um, normally 10:30, they usually tell you, "Hey, your room's not ready yet," or they want to charge you like 50 bucks just to check in early. We got in 10:30. We got our room right away. Um, do you remember the girl's name? Was it Kimberly? Kelly. Maybe Kelly or Kimberly. She was very, very gracious enough to get us in-house early. Uh, we showed that little players card, um, and we got right in. There um, was a line. It did move pretty quickly. There was probably about... 15 people ahead of us. Yeah. So it, it looks like this is his and her um, closets. This is one of two closets. This one has a safe right in it. We do have a safe. Let's get a close yeah. look at that. Oh, we know that Vegas, Vegas goers love to keep their belongings safe, as they should. So standard in wall and closet safe you make your own code you have an ironing board and iron you got another closet in here lovely lovely lady has her, her stuff in here already so closets 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 yeah. so there's a light up there which is great has a little stool um nice and spacious plenty of hangers and then um lots of lights and plugs your plug ports right there yep what's in the drawer my wallet oh the wallet all right, so the bed is comfy. We've sat on it. We didn't sleep on it yet, so we don't know too much about that. We do have uh, a mini bar situation here. It is one of those, if you touch it, you pay for it type things. So we are not touching that. Shout out to my brother, Jay Foz. I think I still owe him a bag of Cheez-Its from uh, <laughs> my previous uh, hotel stay. So that's the, that's the first day. We're not even gonna open that bag. Yeah, up. don't even know. Not even gonna look in there. Um, an ice bucket, a couple of wine glasses, and we thought this was interesting. We just turned the TV on, and they apparently have in-room COVID testing. So $205 per test, and you do get your results 24 to 72 hours. And it's a medical professional that comes in the room and uh, does a test for you. Yeah, so those of you flying international, if you do still need COVID tests to board those international flights, it looks like you can get it right here in room. Try not to get it same day, because they'll whack you with an extra $130 charge for that. Wow, wow. All right, what else do we have here? We've got a little desk, another yeah, plug nice port. Nice workstation for those of you who are coming here for conventions and all that stuff. Lots of plugs over there for whatever you might need. And let's have a drum roll, please. What's this, Is what's the this view? view? Or Jews? Let's take a look here. Whoa. 
It's a cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. We've got the pools here. How many pools can we count? How many pools can uh, so we see? One, two, three, four, five, six pools, seven pools, because there's also a lazy river. Um, I've been to Mandalay Bay, on, well, we've been to Mandalay Bay twice before this, but they were during pool off season, so the only one of the, one one of the pools was open. Um, so this is fantastic with all the pools. We um, took advantage of the wave pool today. Yep. Uh, spent quite some time there. Tomorrow we'll probably check out the Lazy River and some of the other quieter pools as well. So that's the wave pool right there. That's where we were. And then tomorrow we're going to check out the Lazy River, which is back there. And we're not sure. These ones we think might be private pools or one of those club pools. We're going to have to look into yeah, that for I'm you. I'm not even counting that pool over there. That's way too cr crowd over there. That's... Um, we're not sure. We, I don't know. Look at them all. They're all splashing down there. Can you guys see that? It's like a big splash fest. Again, this is EDM weekend, so things are going to get wild. Yeah. Why pay 50 bucks for a pool when you can go over to one of these ones for free? But that's just me. Look how crowded that is. Wow. And I will say we've been to many, many pools in Vegas um, way before vlogging. We've been coming to Vegas for at least the last 15 to 18 years. Mandalay Bay, I think this ranks up top two for pools that I've ever been to. Yes, I agree. We had a great time in the pool. Not too crowded. Um, you definitely have your own space. The waves are very moderate. We actually did the math. We think it was once every minute. And, and 15 seconds for the wave to hit you. Uh, once the wave comes through, then another minute and 15 seconds is another one coming and through. And it's just one wave. It's the same speed and intensity every time. So it's definitely doable. You just can't have drinks in that part. But if you do go on this side you can bring your drinks in there and that seems to be what a lot of people are doing plenty of lifeguards for those who aren't the best swimmers in the world um they we saw plenty of lifeguards yeah, around nice and secure nice and secure and over there that is that stadium again that's the allegiant stadium which is where the raiders yep the las vegas raiders, yep, las vegas raiders. will be playing or do play and that is the airport. I think maybe we've seen a couple of planes taking off and landing since we've been here. So right next to the airport. So if you are an aviation geek, it is a cool spot to see all the different aircrafts pulling in and out. Yeah, that's it. Well, there's a temperature, temperature control there. Temperature control, as usual, we've got it on the lowest temperature and we're gonna put it on the highest, highest air. We like that fresh air, yeah. especially after being in the sun. What else, Michael? Uh, should we do a dust test? I'm trying to find somewhere yeah. to check on the dust. Let's see. What about, about right here? Let's do it. Let's see. And the verdict is... Picked up a very slight little bit of dust, so they get about a B plus there. B plus. So the housekeeper's name, she wrote it down here in case we needed anything. So shout out to Maria S. Maria S., you did a great job with the housekeeping. Very little dust picked up. Unlike the other hotel we stayed at where that was a woof. So Maria S, great job. Ablaso para Maria S. And there is a speaker. A little uh, Bluetooth speaker, it looks like. So we are here for a bit. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what else we can find. Check out the restaurants, bars downstairs. All that fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, maybe um, have another special guest here. Another pro at the Mandalay Bay pool area was that the burgers were delicious at the grill. A con was the beers were expensive, $50 for a bucket of five. So like Michael said, they do have multiple pools here. We were just over on the beach pool, so that is a sand pool, and we were getting um, sandstorms over there. Yeah, the wind today, it was kind of crazy, but the good thing is, is there, there are multiple pools, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, oh, this pool's too crowded, you'll find a little section somewhere else. Yeah, so we just scored this seat right underneath that palm tree. Quick, easy access to the pool. Um, there are some cabanas around, and we did check out prices for those. Those vary uh, in prices that look like from three fifty and up from there. But the biggest downside is some cabanas you pay three fifty, you get a three fifty food and beverage credit. So you're like, hey, I'm one, I'm gonna probably spend that anyways at the pool. Here at the Mandalay Bay is three fifty just to get the cabana, and then you get your exclusive waiter or waitress. But who cares? You know, you're not getting much different there. <laughs> Imperial. 
real power there you go. Been there many times. So at the Mandalay here, a cool thing they do is um, they have a red light, green light system. So if there's a red light, clearly there's a car there. But if you find a green light when you're driving and look for a parking spot, boom. So when you're in Vegas and you look at a park your car, look for a green light. So we're currently back at the Mandalay Bay at the House of Blues. Listening to some guy playing a guitar and then many different instruments. He's from the bass to the guitar. Um, he's playing a keyboard before that. Uh, having a few beers. Um, Lily Jones drinking Corona. Just, of course, I got the trademark candy dandy Bud Light. We just finished up dinner at Boris Italian Chicken Farm. We loved it. Definitely yep. check that place out if you guys are around. Yes, yeah, so we're definitely going off the strip on this, on this trip, so we're going to show you a little bit. Uh, off the strip places, and then we'll, you know, we're definitely gonna do many Vegas videos. So we'll hit up some on strip properties probably next time. But with her dad, her dad loves off the strip restaurants, so we're hitting them all up in this trip. It's good to have someone with a car. Dad, thanks for driving us around. Uh, stays on the Ubers, and that's usually why we stay on the strip, is because Ubers get so crazy in long wait times. Sometimes it's easier just to walk, but if you have access to a car or know someone in Vegas, take advantage of it. Try that. Jennifer Journey, I'm all about traditions. About two years ago, I stayed at the Mandalay Bay. Some, some upon a bar um, right after the Super Bowl that um, had a sign that said, if you talk like Randy Savage from the Macho Man, you get a free beer. So I said, ooh, yeah, I'll take a beer right now. Of course, wait. And since then, I've been going here every every time I'm at this area. And if you order some beers, you get free chips. It's called Fusans. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. Here's a small clip of what's in store for the next video, Vegas Off the Strip. Um, this is a small clip of Fremont Street with all the bands in action and the lights above. We hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Everyone take care.